I'm Sandy York, and I am playing Amanda. Oh, The Glass Menagerie is a classic American play written by Tennessee Williams. It's famous. Amazingly, I have never seen a production of it, even though I feel very familiar with it because there are certain scenes that are just always done in scene study classes. Um, but it's not usually the Amanda scenes. So having not seen it, um, it's kind of a, a gift. I would have loved to have seen some of these famous productions and I can watch film productions later, but it's, it's kind of a gift to come to it with uh, a bit of a blank slate in terms of preconceived notions. Um, so it's exciting, but daunting. Uh, well, gosh, you always, these, this is one of those plays that everybody is just dying to sink his or her teeth into because it's, there's so much there. It's about, um, love of course but these people are complicated and flawed and struggling the way we all are and do uh sometimes more than others and boy these people have reached a high point or a low point of their struggle however you want to look at it uh and it's just the he's such a wonderful writer and to be able to use these words and tell this story is uh just an amazing opportunity for any actor. So you see it being done and you submit an audition for it. And I've never been to Jackson. I'm not sure that I've been through Mississippi or to Mississippi. I may have been through and not spent time on a tour I did a million years ago, but I love exploring new cities and trying the food and listening to the rhythm of the place. It's wonderful. Oh. It's always a good time to do a play like this. There's a lot that I'm thinking of, especially playing Amanda, who's a, a mother, and she's a woman of a certain age, who could be as young as 40, early 40s, uh, often played much older. I think about women's rights a lot because there's, she didn't have options for survival, for earning money, for taking care of her family, for socializing. She didn't have options that were available to men and that are available to women now. So uh, we spend a lot of time thinking about that. These people are living in, uh, in the past, in the movies, in kind of alternate fantasy worlds. Uh, they all want to be loved. They all want to be safe. We see a lot of people living in fantasy worlds and I feel like that's been uh, especially uh, an issue the past several years where there's um, and a lot of this is outside information coming in these people have their past memories invading and it's just it's 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 interesting to compare them it's not the same but it's interesting to compare them and, and think about how they can really devastate people destroy lives or buoy you up through difficult times. So that's, a, you know, two sides of a coin sword thing. I would say this is a play that if you aren't already familiar with it, don't go read it or watch a movie before you come see it. Come experience it uh, for the first time live as a piece of theater. Don't let anyone tell you anything.